What's up, guys? Neil Orfield here to take a look at the so rare MLB slate starting tomorrow. I'm recording this on Thursday, June 15th. I'm going to be talking about the slate that starts on June 16th uh, and goes through June 18th, the Friday through Sunday. So rare MLB slate. While you're coming in, please do like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and hit that notification button so you can get alerts when our shows go live. Now, the first thing that I like to look at on any given slate is are there any teams that have an abnormal number of games? Any teams on a three-day three day slate that have two games or four games? I don't believe I saw any on this upcoming slate, but let me just uh, take a look real quick once again. And I think the easiest way that I know to do this, there might be easier ways to, uh, to do it, but the easiest way that I know to do it is to just take a look at some of my players, see if anybody has anything different than three games. And I don't have uh, a player from every team, so I could be missing some. This is probably not the uh, the optimal approach for figuring this out. But uh, I didn't see any double headers, and I don't I think everybody. It looks like everybody I see has three games. I think every team on this slate has three games, so not a huge concern there. Second thing that I like to look at is: Do we have a core slate? We do not have a core slate. We have Colorado in Atlanta, so uh, those are not factors here. But we can still find you know, good matchups for this upcoming slate. And I'm just going to go day by day. So starting on June 16th, this is uh, the Friday slates. Do we see any pitchers that we really like here? Alcantara, nice matchup, but not not having the best season so far. Uh, could maybe go to Kevin Gossman. Really tough matchup against the Rangers. So not the best matchup there, but I think you can still think about going to uh, Kevin Gossman at least. Do love this matchup for Joe Ryan. Having a great year facing the Tigers here. I think it's a good spot for Joe Ryan. So, so far, I think he's probably the top pitcher here. Not an easy matchup for either of Shane McClanahan or you, Darvish. We do have Zach Gallen facing the Guardians. That's a, you know, fine matchup. Not the best, not the best out there, but it's a fine one. Uh, so that's another play you can make. So I think on Friday, our best, best options that I see are probably Zach Gallen or Joe Ryan. I think I looked at it earlier. Joe Ryan's cards going for about 18 bucks. So nothing too crazy there. Didn't look at Zach Gallen, but I wouldn't imagine they're extremely expensive either. All right. Looking at the Saturday games. Again, nothing jumping out. Hunter Green, kind of a tough matchup. <coughs> Excuse me. <laughs> With the Astros. Curious to see who's pitching for the Phillies. Bryce Elder has a nice matchup with the Rockies at home. I guess you consider Bryce Elder. Uh, Kodai Senga, you know, pretty pretty boom bust. Um, consider Senga against the Cardinals, I suppose. Giolito has been kind of hit or miss. Also, uh, fine matchup with Seattle. Mitch Keller against... Uh, I don't love the matchup in Milwaukee, but uh, I think you could still think about going to Mitch Keller if, if you have the card, maybe. Um, again, tough matchup for both Zach Eflin and Blake Snell there. Shane Bieber going up against the Diamondbacks. Looks like a fine spot. Uh, Bobby Miller. I, I looked this up earlier as well uh, on a live show. And, uh, you know, it's a, it's a fine matchup with San Francisco, but his cards are also more expensive than Joe Ryan right now. I'd rather just play Joe Ryan, go after the the cheaper card there. But Bobby Miller, you know, if you, if you like him as a prospect, you can get his cards for, uh, I think it was around 55 bucks. So not the worst buy in the world there. Uh, and then on Sunday. Yeah, I mean, another fine matchup for, uh, I mean, great matchup for for Charlie Morton. Uh, still don't know if he's, you know, going to be the the top of the board there, but Charlie Morton against the Rockies at home looks okay. Tough matchups for Chris Bassett, John Gray. Could play some Tony Gonsolin against the Giants. Zach Wheeler against the A's might be the best spot for the weekend. Uh, obviously a, a nice spot there despite how well they've been playing lately and uh zach zach wheeler one of the better pitchers on the slate so that's probably another place that i would consider going i have that card so i think i'm going to play that one uh so those are some of the the pitching matchups on this upcoming so rare slate and then i guess we can just look at uh which bats do we like and i think the top spot to go here is going to be atlanta even though they're playing the rockies outside of coors field rockies pitchers are just not great they have they're probably the worst Maybe the worst starting rotation in the league. I think you can still target them. And obviously the, the Braves lineup is great also. So I think going to the Braves uh, at home against this Rockies squad makes a lot of sense as far as bats go. That'd probably be my favorite place to go here. Outside of the Braves, 
I mean, you can go to the Dodgers always. Uh, they, they look fine here, not in the worst spot in Los Angeles against the Giants. Yeah, I'm trying to see if there's anybody else that I really want to target here. I mean, we don't know who's pitching for the Cubs, but the Orioles in Wrigley could be interesting. Not sure how the weather is looking this weekend just yet, but that seems like a nice enough spot for the Orioles in Wrigley. Uh, you can go to the Twins at home against the Tigers, not the best pitching staff in the world as well. I think that's another offense you can target. So those are just a few of the offenses you can target. Again, if you're new to so rare, uh, you can sign up for free. You can get playing for free. When you sign up, you're going to be given your choice between a number of common cards. Again, those are those are the free cards. You're, you're given a salary cap, a number of cards to choose from, um, and you can you know make a lineup based on the cards that you choose when you sign up. You're going to be forced to choose within uh, certain restrictions, so you can fill out a full lineup right away, start playing right away. Again, it's free, but you can win real money prizes in these common contests. You can see here 200 limited cards in this miners contest, 100 in the common all-star contest. These are both uh, common contests, which are free to join. So check it out if you have not already. Uh, it's a lot of fun playing on so rare. And as I said, you can get started for free. Use the link in the description of this video when you sign up. We would appreciate that. Uh, and of course, I said it before, I'll say it again. Please do hit the like button if you haven't already. Let me know if you have any questions about so rare. My DMs on Twitter are always open at PlayerQDFS. Happy to answer any questions you might have. And good luck this weekend.